Hi, we are online after a very long time. Today we will discuss the nature and origin of petroleum. Before going to discuss this, if you are new on our channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon, never miss any update. So we now discuss. Please uh, must subscribe because we have a lot of videos uh, related to these topics. Now we will discuss the nature and origin of petroleum. Petroleum, you want to know about petroleum. The word petroleum means rock. The word petroleum petroleum this is the most favorite petroleum means rock or mineral oil rock or mineral oil petroleum mean rock or mineral oil but technically it has a wider meaning that includes crude oil, crude oil, natural gas, natural gas, bitumen, bitumen, and wax and wax. Historically, now we will discuss the historically, the first reported use of petroleum is the use of asphalt. Technic historically, the first reported use of petroleum is the use of asphalt. Asphalt. In the construction of walls and towers of Babylonia around 400 years ago. We are discussing the history of petroleum. Petroleum in its natural form when first collected in usually named crude oil. Petroleum when first collected in its natural form petroleum it called crude oil petroleum in its uh, natural form called the crude oil this is not crude oil it is a natural mixture of hydrocarbon petroleum is the it is natural mixture of hydrocarbon it is the natural mixture of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbon means carbon and hydrogen. Organic compounds of different molecular weights, hydrocarbons of different molecular weights, different molecular weights. It widely varies in appearance, physical properties and composition from one oil field to another. It widely, we will discuss also two theories or uh, theories, uh, any theory related to petroleum. It widely varies. In appearance, physical characteristics, characteristics and composition.
from one aisle field to another from one aisle field to another okay now we go to next they are generally classified as paraffinic naphthenic or aromatic based on predominant proportion of similar hydrocarbon molecules okay now there are two main theories two main theories biogenic theory and abiogenic theory biogenic theory bio mean life biogenic theory and abiogenic theory biogenic abiogenic theory about the origin of petroleum about the origin we have discussed the nature and now we will discuss the origin according to biogenic theory petroleum originated from living organisms living organisms deep burial underground over millions of years buried under the earth over millions of years ago and a biogenic theory so guests the origin of petroleum from non living organisms non living organisms non living organisms are from inorganic material non living thing or uh, inorganic material the biogenic theory was first proposed in 1757 by russian scholar milkian mikhail lomonosov mikhail mikhail lomo no so the geologists believe that millions of years ago the dead bodies of the living organism accumulated in shallow marine water the organic matter was partially decayed by aerobic and then anaerobic degradation degradation okay over geo geological time this partly decayed organic matter mixed with the mud was buried under heavy layers of sediment further the organic mass was subjected to elevated temperature supplied by earth crust and high pressure exerted by overlain mass this chemically changed the organic matter first into a waxy material known as kerogene kerogene during diagenesis and then with more heat into liquid and gaseous hydrocarbons in a process known as catagenesis catagenesis under these conditions the clay and minerals played the role of catalysts and helped in catalytic cracking or organic matter natural radioactivity from underground rocks 
shell and sandstone also contributed in conversion process. A combined action of bacterial degradation, high pressure and temperature catalysis, high temperature and pressure catalysis and natural radioactivity. The organic matter consists of proteins, fat, protein, fat, carbohydrates, extra. While slowly and gradually converted into simpler gaseous and liquid hydrocarbons which is mined as natural gas and crude petroleum today. Okay, the hydrocarbons started migration through adjacent rock layers until they become trapped beneath impermeable rocks within uh, porous rocks called reservoirs. Concentration of hydrocarbons in reservoirs formed oil field from which it is exerted by drilling and pumping geologists often refer to an oil window which is the temperature range at that oil forms in below. The Minimum temperature oil remains trapped in the form of kerosene and above the maximum temperature the oil is converted to natural gas through the porous process of thermal cracking. Oil is converted to natural gas through the process of thermal cracking. Although this happens at different depths in different locations around the world, typically depth for the oil window might be six to uh, four to six kilometer. The biogenic theory is the most acceptable theory, as most of biological markers present in petroleum support this theory. Abiogenic theory was proposed by variously by different scientists in 19th century. The famous one which was the Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev. Mendeleev and the French chemist Marceline Berthelot Marceline Berthelot Berthelot At that time, the bionic hypothesis have lost ground to dominant view that petroleum is a fossil fuel. According to this theory, Natural petroleum was formed at the time of formation of earth from deep carbon deposits within the mantle carbon may exist in different forms such as carbonates, carbides, carbon dioxide which may be converted to hydrocarbon. One form of this theory called carbide theory. Carbide theory Remember it. Proposed by Dmitry Mandley postulated that metallic carbide deep within the earth reacted with steam at high temperature forming acetylene which subsequently condensed or polymerized to form heavier hydrocarbons in a way like in fissure drops reaction fischer tropsch reaction what is fischer tropsch reaction discuss we calcium carbide solid form plus two water h2o into this is the reaction it become 
सी ए ओ एच टू दिस इज ऑल्सो सॉलिड प्लस सी टू एच टू दिस इज इन गैशियस फॉर्म दिस थ्यूरी सो गैस डैट फुल सूट फुल सूट ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन फाउंड इन पेट्रोलियम कैन बी जनरेटेड इन मेंटल बाय ए बायोजोनिक प्रोसेसिस एंड दीज हाइड्रोकार्बन कैन माइग्रेट आउट ऑफ मेंटल इन टू द्रस्ट अंटिल द स्कैप द सरफेस आर आर ट्रैप्ड बाय इम्परमिएबल स्ट्राटा फॉर्मिंग क्रस्ट forming petroleum reservoirs a bionic theory is also supposed that certain molecules found within the petroleum known as biomarkers biomarkers come from the microbes that petroleum encounters in this upward migration through the earth crust some of them are also found in meteorites which have presumably never contacted living material and that some can be generated by plausible reaction in petroleum abiogenically so we have discussed the two theories bionic theory and abiogenic theory of the petroleum we have discussed also the nature of petroleum we discussed the origin of petroleum we discussed the meaning of petroleum so if you like our video must subscribe our channel and if you need tutor for any class for any subject we have a lot of tutors for you online all over the world so you can contact us thank you very much must subscribe like and share our video for more information so thank you very much take care